Quibbing in for all the guys left and whatnot. This has been a grueling event. We, uh, we're here. Is it possible a, uh, that he is man. banking so the train for the five and building the eight towards the seven or the two? Wow. You called it. But he did. You called it. But he made a ball. Yeah. It worked out perfect. He double kissed the four ball, knocked it in the pocket, and now he's got a bank on the two. Boy. He got lucky there. Yeah, Efren's blessed. He sold out. Efren is blessed. He sold out. But things have been going pretty well for him in tournaments uh, this past year, especially. Okay, he's made about a million dollars uh, in pool rail. this year. Yeah, between the IPT yeah, and other yeah. events. Yeah. Well, you, you know, he finished second in the bank pool a couple of days yeah. ago, which is a very so high finish for him in yes, bank pool. He's the favorite in the, the one pocket. Pro. And if he wins the uh, one pocket, he's just about wrapped up the all-around money, which is a bonus of $25,000. And I think that's the prize Efren really comes here looking for. Well, I talked to him earlier. I said, Efren, I know you never planned to win the, the bank pool. He laughed. <laughs> yeah. He's not a bank pool player. So I said, finishing high is like all you wanted to do for that all-around prize. And he did finish high. He finished second. That's a plus for him. I think. <laughs> no. He did something a little more. That's no good. He's knocking him to Efren's pocket. Yeah, my shot was good, or taking a scratch was good, as long as he didn't let him see the one. Now, Efren doesn't even have to cut at the ball, but I think he's going to. I mean, he could bank the one and really put him in trouble. He has to hit this thin and not even touch that uh, five ball. Well, he played the combination, yeah. and the ball stopped where the other one was, worse. So now he's back to the shot I called to start with. Bank the one into the pile and squat your rock, except he's on the rail. Tough to squat your rock when you're on the rail. you got to hit it low to do that. So he didn't really uh, get where he wanted to. Yeah. He could bank this or even kick it. You know, he banked it softly. He couldn't whack it because he couldn't control cue ball, but this is sufficient. I just don't think he's even considered the no, shot. No, he's not. He's going to get the worst of it. This is this is just a escape the inning shot here. This this is no good. Yeah, I like your uh, evaluation there. Escape the inning. Effort might even kick this ball in. Yeah, take one ball and then move and play from safe. there. Yeah. yeah. He with his advantage, a five ball advantage, he can pick them off one at a time. And if they trade balls, he's going to win the game. Do this. I like this shot. I shoot it all the time. Let's see if he does it. No, he just. He's playing a little cautious, you know. He's got the edge four to one in the hole, so he's not going to do anything dangerous. Uh, finally, he can serve. Finally, Efren's in position. He can kick behind the five ball. Oh no, he just not. He knocked it he away. He, not, can he, see the full, he can see the full ball. He hit it too hard. You got to keep that on your side, long and bankable. Let's see. That's what he did. I knew he's going to wind up on the side of the pile, not with one pocket, you know. These are the two most celebrated players from the Philippines. Jose Perico over there is known as a Hmong, meaning... He's going to try to put him on the side of, side of the pile again, or at least snooker him on anything. So far, Perico hasn't had a chance to shoot balls in, but if he has to, he will get aggressive and do some creative things to you. Oh, yeah. he... oh, don't tell me he scratched. No, he got no, the rail. He just did. He got almost broke the rail. Well, you never know what Efren can do. Oh, no, he didn't. He played a, uh -oh. another soft yeah. safety off the side of the pack. That's the 14, that pink ball. Pink He's just going to bank a ball on his side and, and come down there. And you know, He would love to have froze him on the five and let Efren be the one who moves the five. Uh, 13 ball, I believe it is. And... Uh, He's shooting it. Yeah, he's shooting it because it's dead. But you got to control Whitey. You know, there's a side pocket over there, and there's a ball you can run right into that won't help you by hitting it. That's why he's jacking up. Yeah. He's holding yeah. that. He's going to draw it past all those balls and get position for those. There it goes. Yeah. Now no he's problem. got the eight ball. I hate to say this, but if you're playing and you're Perica, you almost want him to run out, start the next one. Right. Perica will be happy to end this one, start over. Very easily, uh, Everett Reyes takes the first game. 
In the he big part, he broke free to serve. Right. He won that game eight to minus one. If you can get there. Here, here's what I'm talking about. Uh, take a kick this way to way over here and let him go. Let him go. Double him up on that shot and let him go. You know what? That might win the game. I like that shot, but Jose's not seeing it. Oh, he's sold out. He slid through there. What he wanted to do was put the cue ball right against 11. Instead, he went through that opening. Efren has an open pack now. He's got the 11, and those other two balls are in a combination. That 4-5 is a combination. Oh, so is the, uh, the, the, what is it, the 2-6? But you see my shot? You see the way the balls are all sitting? Yep. That would have been a big shot. But look he at how they're won. sitting now. Everything goes to Efren's hole. Everything goes well, towards I, I his hole. Think, uh, I don't think Perica is going to shoot again, except look at this. Oh, it's like these. Well, he's going to try to billiard the uh, 12 and shoot it next. Like that. And he does. <laughs> Pretty good shot. This Little shots like that are one of those things that Efren does better than anybody I ever saw. Plus, you know what it did. Shooting the other, yeah, he gets a chance to get them all now. The other thing, he did, he wouldn't have got them all if he did anything differently. Because he fell on that ball and billiarded it, uh, he's going to get right out. You know, what looked like on paper to be a close match is fast becoming a runaway. Wait, what do you think he's going to He's going to have the seven next. See it? Yep. Yep. And then the eight. He'll slide down towards the end rail for the eight. Then he'll come out come back and work that combination for two more balls. He's not going to slide. He's going to stroke it. He's very good at that. And he's going to, you know, forget it. That other ball is a combination. He's got two more combinations. You know, Preka really got punished by selling that shot out. Here it comes. Yeah. He, he, he only needs control. to shoot. This is all he needs to shoot is this. Yeah, he needs one. Yeah, that's it. See you later, and the people will go crazy. He's been getting the rolls for about 20 years now. And he's been a good person all those 20 years. Oh, uh -oh. he better make this or, oh, boy, he got a little lucky. He got real lucky there. Oh. If he kisses the two ball, he's okay. going to lose that game, too. Well, if he has trouble doing this, he can go way upstream and leave him the combination long. He doesn't have to make it. He's going to billiard the ball. or No, look, worse he went than under. That. He, went he doesn't under. even want to give him the ball, and he snookered him on, he snookered him on the two ball. So, you know... Well, Jose's yeah. trying to get behind the two ball now. Nope, it didn't See work. See you later. It we're, didn't work. We're going to watch another eight and out, and you know what? That would be really a bad blow for Jose because he would have lost this match 24 to minus one. Well, he runs his fingers through his hair. Jose, you're looking at a real dejected pool player right now. He's got to forget this match and go from there. Make believe the day started over, and he's playing single elimination now. Because he is still in the, in the tournament. Well, now we get to see a clinic on how well Efren runs the balls. You notice he did a perfect draw stroke to get back for this 13 ball. And he opened now he's, three more. He opened three more. Like you said, he makes it look simple, but it's not that easy. Well, is he going to go all the way to the 12? Yep. He's coming back. Yep. He went that's all the way the to the, that's that's the 13. 13. Yeah. Okay, the 13. I'll be, frankly, I'll be surprised if he doesn't run eight balls here. Oh, he's going to have them. Not only does he play perfect position, he just doesn't miss any balls. No. Well, here's a little bit of a tricky shot. He's got to go forward. What's he doing? Is he drawing the ball here? I don't, I don't yeah, really see. Yeah, if he brushes the three, he'll let, well, he's oh, going no. behind me. He just looks like he's hitting it low sometimes, and he's not. But look how he fell on the ball. Now he billiards the seven, and it's tic-tac-toe, and Jose could forget this match. That was actually the key shot right there to finish out this run. He's got the 10 ball. He's got the right angle. He'll probably come up and hit that brown 7 ball. Yep. Bye-bye. Huh. See you later when your hair gets straighter. Stop right there. Shoot to 3. Go one rail to the 11. Oh, he snookered himself. No, no, he could, he could, he could he make still the cut seven. the seven. Yeah, he could okay. still cut the seven. But I think he would have loved to hit the seven a little. I think fuller. he, I think you, I think he wanted to touch the seven ball and shoot the three next. And then go this isn't right. the shot he wanted, but yeah. this is Efren Reyes. He's He'll cut it. He's going to need one more now. No is problem. Is he playing position? Oh, he's over. See you later. He might have got all of them. Anyway, 
Uh, was it, what was it, a 30-minute match? It was a fast match, and poor Jose didn't suffer much. 24 to minus 1. 36-minute match. My God, who would have expected that? He's grinning. He doesn't usually grin like this, but he's very happy he did this. Perica's slamming balls. He must have a backer nearby. 